Hello. Hope everyone's doing well today. Uh, so as per per the game and per per the games in circulation, uh, it's journey. Alright, let's let's hope I don't make an absolute ass of myself again. Hello, Rose. How's it going? So we're doing one called Turnabout Goodbyes. Hey, Dunkachi, how's it going? Now I'm going to embarrass myself because now I have a voice actor in my chat and I can't voice act for shit. Not that I try, mind you. <laughs> I'm going fine? Nice. It's been, what, 15 years? About that, yes. Fifteen years is a long time to wait. You can't imagine how much I've suffered. You've... suffered? But now, the perfect opportunity has presented itself. At last, I shall have my revenge. What? Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. Uh oh. Not that good? You're very good, dude. I've seen some of your voice acting. Don't sell yourself short. Hey, hey, Nick. Do you know if there are any good waterfalls around here? Waterfalls? Dare I ask why? Duh, Nick, isn't it obvious? I need a waterfall to stand under, preferably a freezing one. Oh, I is that part of your spirit medium training? Of course, except I've been slacking off lately. I need to brave the elements and uh, be forged anew under the rushing spring waters. Um, okay. Don't you hate it when you have an all day headache? Yeah, I do. Are you okay though, General? Hopefully uh, everything gets better. Have you taken Anvil? Go ahead and take a nap. Rest it up well. When did you hear my voice acting? You showed me it once. You you uh, you did like a voice acting for it. I think it was something Five Nights at Freddy's. I think that was the one you showed me. I think you show. I think you showed me your audition. I ca I can't remember. Took an Advil. Good. Besides that, how how are we been doing, General? Also, I forget if I've asked. Uh, uh, don't catch it, but how you doing? Yeah, no worries, man. Uh, it's a <laughs> I think I think you just showed me that once, and I yeah. Uh, school. Damn right. <laughs> I'm okay. I don't know about any falls per se, but Gord Lake is pretty close. Oh, darn. <laughs> Sorry, but them's the breaks. Can you just take a cold shower or something? Good idea. So much for rushing spring waters. Objection. How are you doing today, Final? I'm doing all right. How are you doing, Pancake? I actually managed to brave something I've been needing to do. Something going to work. Fine. Busy multitasking. Working on the Wind Waker bit. Nice. Uh, did I miss it, or did you not post a uh, farmhouse uh, vid? Next in the news, a large unidentified animal was sighted at Gord Lake. The town is buzzing with excitement. Locals are calling it Gordy, uh, in a tip of the hat to Nessie, the Loch Ness Monster. Though its namesake Nessie proved to be a hoax. Locals are confident that Gordy is the real deal. Nice. Doing okay, I got some uh, hard news, but I'm still going on with light. Well, if you ever need to talk about it, like, my stream, my stream's always open, my DM's always open. Like, there's, I, it's, I'm always, I'm always up for talk, but I understand if it's, it's, like, a private matter. 
I'm not, I'm not going to force you if you don't want to talk, but I'm just giving you av avenue, and that that goes for anyone here. Like my 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 stream, I, we call it a bonfire because as much as people share their successes and whatnot, people also uh, can share their woes and like, you know, get like internet consoling hugs and whatnot. I don't I don't think we'll be able to like actually do much, but I mean it's. I'm just, it's, it's, the option is there, you know? I know, I, I haven't, I haven't, like, defined the bonfire in a while. I feel like I should have. <laughs> Yawn, boring. <sighs> oh, that was a fucking real one. <laughs> now, I couldn't get it out, kind of behind on it, but if I finish the video before Friday, I can get the farmhouse by Sunday. Okie doke. Well, have you decided on which length you're, that you got comfortable with? No, it's not too bad. Right now I found out I have stage 1 liver cancer. And I've been kind of dealing with that today. Holy shit, dude. I'm so sorry to hear that. Well, thankfully it's only stage 1. So that we can... Like... I, I guess I know quotes and quotes, thoughts and prayers and shit. But at least it's recoverable. So that's a plus. Still, still horrible that it's cancer, but at least it's I you just gotta keep a positive mind that it's recoverable. I mean, I, I mean, like I understand that like you still gotta go through like the grieving process, but it's fine. It should be fi it, it's fine. It should be fine as long as it gets better. Yeah, just gotta tough it out. I mean, pancakes are pretty hearty. At least it's not a fucking waffle. <laughs> I'm thinking 60 minutes. Ah, nice. I'll be okay. That's that's good. I just realized I have to fucking deactivate my right click again. Uh, disable. Because I have an unnecessary uh, or un unfortunate tendency to right click shit. Can they show real news for a change? Nick. The water pressure is kind of low in that shower. You want more pressure, huh? Why don't you go down to the fire department and have them spray you with the hose? Good idea, Nick. Apparently, Fave Blood is no aid in detecting sarcasm. We interrupt this program to bring you a special news bulletin. Strange occurrences continue at Gord Lake, but this time it's murder. I just say, I don't know why. It's just like, cause, like I think it's cause I le I always left click with my with my pointer finger, but when I right click, it's with it's with my both my ring finger and my middle finger. I I, I don't know if that's like heavy heavy fingering things, but why do I word shit like that? The body of a man was found in the lake early this morning. A suspect was apprehended. Sources inside the police department revealed the suspect's name is Miles Edgeworth, age 24. Edgeworth was an up-and-coming prosecutor known for his skill and connections. He was guaranteed a long and rewarding career. Has he thrown it all away? Edgeworth? What's going on? Edgeworth would never do something like... Nick? Yipes, my, uh... The firemen yelled at me when I called them. We've got bigger things to worry about than that. They arrested Edgeworth. Hey, Terror, how's it going? I think it's the first time somebody in a while has used "hello, hello," uh, and like uh, <laughs> when they when they first arrive. <laughs> what you mean, the prosecutor? Yeah, he's a suspect in a murder. What? When? Where? Whom? Why? How? At least I used whom. I don't know. Let's go find out, Nick. I don't want to talk to her. December 25th. It's Christmas! It's Christmas! Sorry. 
If anybody gets that reference, I am so, so sorry. You know, Nick, we've all been here in one time or another, haven't we? I guess it comes with the territory. I'm not something I'm not sure it's something we should mention it to too many people. Ah Hey, Edgeworth, come back. What are you doing here? Nick, I don't think he's in a very good mood. Well, he is in detention. Were you in a good mood when you were here? <laughs> so you've come to laugh at the fallen... Oh, I actually laughed. Oh. Now I feel bad. <laughs> you've come to laugh at the fallen attorney. Then laugh. Laugh. Well, why aren't you laughing? Nick, should we be laughing? Nah, it's a trick. Laugh and he'll get mad or burst into tears. Edgeworth, we don't have uh, so much free time we can spend it uh, coming down here to laugh at you. Yes, you do. <laughs> oh, okay. Farmhouse SMP in a nutshell, final voice of reason and the one character that has all the shit... Turn up the one character no one wants to mess with because everyone is on their side. A chaotic villain. Actually, oh, is Fiend turn up isn't here. I am actually considering a little something, something. But uh, that's that's a side thing. Actually, he's right. I hoped you wouldn't come. I didn't want you to see me. Not like this. I didn't want to see like this either. Believe me. But yeah, that, that, that uh, pancake, that's actually a pretty apt description. But I wouldn't call Don Kachi a villain just yet. I, I, would, I would classify him as... Not an underdog, but like... The, the character plotting their revenge, if that makes sense. Just yet? Well, it depends on what he's what he plans on doing. There, there's a there's story in the farmhouse that... Uh, that, that we're going to do. That I have plans for, at least. I want to see how the others adapt to it. Hey, Sphix. How's it going? My fave case? Nice. What happened? Edgeworth, tell me what happened. Why should I? What are you going to do about it? Duh. We're going to help you, that's what. Help me? You? Don't be ridiculous. Sorry? You're a novice. You've only been in three trials. Hey! I'm sure you got lucky and won all three. But your luck's bound to run out someday. You need real skill, right? Experience. Bimo, the one likable dude that's there in all the adventures. Bimo is likable, I like him. I will follow your lead final, don't worry, nothing will happen yet. Good. Because I have some ideas. And you will be on board with it, I promise you. I'll follow you. Er, days been mad. People just do be sucking, but the cat ears is, is so good. Nice. I'm glad your cat is there. <laughs> Worth you whore, just etc. <laughs> it's it's rare that you actually see the word whore in chat. Uh, that's <laughs> yeah. Scat is scat is basically uh, omnipotence. Like that's that's the best way to define him. He's he's skilled. He's crafty. He makes good jokes. I mean, I didn't. People didn't realize that he made a penis bridge until part way through, like, part way through the stream. Come, I just want the fallen angel versus the entire server. Duh. 
Nick, he's insulting you. Nick? Why am I always the one that has to get angry? Hey, look. It's chat. <laughs> Gord Lake. The murder took place at Gord Lake, correct? Yes. Late last night. The lake is a long way away from your office in the courthouse. Why were you down there? I see no need to tell you. Mr. Edgeworth, you... You didn't really. Gordy. What? And Kiro is the one character that is never there. Kiro? Oh, you mean Shiro. Shiro's just a resource, sir. He's clever and great with redstone. On a side note, love what you did to the end. Oh, thank you. We have we have much more work to do, though. And at least from there on, it'll be much easier. Because uh, at, least, at least we have a foundation to build off of. But uh, the one thing is, and this is, uh, you know what, I'll spoil alert. Uh, spoiler alert, please mute for next 30 seconds or until you see me click on this thing again. Um, Vimo and Turnup are planning on coming to the end to set up a uh, Enderman farm. They didn't ask our permission. We technically own that island now. May that be the start of a battle? Who knows? That's one of the reasons why I adapted, uh, why I took a bunch of dragon's breath. So that way we can actually, you know, g g give them... Put, put put them back in the overworld where they belong. So yeah, I I, I there, there there will be a little bit of story, but we'll have to see. The one the one thing I want to do off stream though is to, okay. <laughs> Yo, this is what I've been waiting for. This is what it's all about. Woo! Yeah. Anyways, that's. That's just my plans, at least. Of course, things will start off diplomatic, but we'll we'll have to see how they how they do things. That's that's why I kind of decided to bring lava into the end, because you know, uh, the we could uh, do a little bit of a uh, incineration, you know. I want war. Well, we'll have to see first. I want to build the end first. Yeah, but knowing turn up, we got to be careful. Of course, and that's understandably so. I I don't I don't want to call it like in, in in that server. I'm a neutral party, and I I invited you into the end because you were downtrodden, like you were you were taken advantage of. At least that's what you said to me. Um, you were taken advantage of. You are. Uh, and, and I just wanted, wanted to be like, hey, you know what? Yeah, come come over here with me. We'll 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 survive together. And of course, they're gonna stick their faces where they don't belong. Now that now that we got our own safe haven, and then, yeah. I heard you were down <laughs> bad. <laughs> You know, I, I would be shocked if someone was down bad for me. Okay, spoilers are ending, so. Huh? I went to see Gordy. Gordy? What's that? I'll tell you later. Why won't Edward talk to us? Let's present our badge. The attorney's badge. Edgeworth? Let me defend you. <laughs> Good one, right? But I'm not that hard up. Not yet. What do you mean by that? Me? Trust a wet behind the ears lawyer with only three trials under his belt? Never. What? And Nick, you make it sound like it's a cock a joke. Ah. Plus, we homies excited for the Wind Waker collab on Wednesday? Thursday. 
Wednesday is uh, chat lamity. Unless you, unless you need me to, I I can I can reschedule chat lamity. I'm kind of at a odds because I keep having my shit kicked in by bosses, and it is a little bit training. But Wednesday is cock day. <laughs> you put cock day, not even cock a day. It's fake. Someone modding you. My case is near hopeless, right? Every defense I've turned up talk to has turned me down. What? Simply put, they were afraid they'd lose. It occurred to me that it might be my fault they lack confidence. After all, I did get every single one of their clients declared guilty. Final please, no, I'm not actually going to. Oh my bad, I meant Thursday. No worries, Don Kachi, no worries. Also, he hey Gumbo, how's it going? I can't tune on Wednesday, Wednesday but Thursday I'll be there. Awesome. I, like... I actually, Dungachi, I actually looked back at the VOD and figure out which uh, Triforce piece I didn't mark down. So we'll, we'll, we'll get you that shit. Funny enough, it was actually the one... Uh, you know how we split ways? I went to Ice Ring and you went to Fire Mountain? Uh, the Triforce piece is actually a, the Lookout Tower at Fire Mountain. I don't believe it. Regardless, I don't want you involved in this. You in particular, I cannot ask to do this. Alright, let's go to Gord Lake. This is where it happened? Yeah, Gord Lake is in the middle of this park. E edgy, please. <laughs> edgy, please. I could see some police walking around in there. Questioning people, probably. Hey, isn't that Detective Gumshoe over there? It's Fix's favorite character. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, Despacito. Well, pal, there's enough of us here. Anyone found anything? S sorry, sir, nothing. Idiots, the trial's tomorrow. We need clues, on the double. But, sir, there weren't any clues. That's why we arrested that attorney, Mr. Edgeworth. Final, did you play that? Uh, Ske, Ske made it, and then he gave it to me, and I posted and it's now in my, it's now in my uh, channel rewards. Thank you for shouting out schematics. The gumbo does a great it's not I'm not repeating that. It's clear, sir. He's the one who shut up. Just you try saying that again. I'll 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 make you sorry if you do. So just just get out of my face, pal. Yes, sir. Detective Gumshoe's kind of scary today. Recruits. Peh. Ah! Eek! Hey, you're that hairy guy. Hairy butts. Thanks. <laughs> right, Phoenix Wright. Will you ever learn my name? And just what are you doing here, pal? Investigating? Um, well, yes, I suppose. Well, I'm here to help. Ask me anything you want. Bring it. He seems different than usual. I wonder what's up. Um, Mr. Mr. Edgeworth hasn't actually asked us to defend him yet. Is is Fix actually, or is Ska actually running that competition? Huh? Oh, y you don't say. What happened, Detective Gumshoe? Do you know what happened here? Huh? You don't know, pal? No. Well, oh, okay, Mr. Head in the fluff, Fluffy Pink Clouds Lawyer. Head in the... Uh, excuse me. 
Never mind, I'll tell you. It happened last night about 15 minutes after midnight. 12.15, okay. There's a, boat, oh, there's a boat out on Gord Lake. In that boat were two men. One of the men shot, the other with a pistol. And the shooter was Mr. Edgeworth? The cop who arrived on the scene arrested him. Me and Spark have a friendly contest because uh, she was envious of it. Oh, okay. I have a great idea. Oh, no. What's up, Gumbo? How did they get there so fast? Well, there was a witness. When the port came in, we raced to the lake. A witness? Contest say word, you coward? No. They'll find out what my amazing idea is if I bother to do it. Oh, uh, okay. You don't think Mr. Edgeworth is a murderer, do you? Absolutely not. It's impossible. I don't care if there's a witness either. I don't believe a lick of it. What are programmer socks? Skate keeps mentioning them, but what are programmer socks? Is this socks you wear while programming, or is it like a stupid meme? Well, uh, not stupid, but you know what I mean. Right, who cares what the witness says? I care. You really believe in him, don't you, detective? Of course I do. But the police are pretty sure he's a killer. Die high stockings? Oh, okay. Nobody's even really taking uh, this investigation that seriously. Oh no. After all the Mr. Uh, uh, after all the help Mr. Edgeworth has been to us, or to imagine that no one's standing up to take his side. Well, at least you are, detective. At least you are. Finally, you should check out MK. Oh, I've been meaning to check that again. I'm sorry. Uh, nah, yeah. There's totally not a cap of pride pole. Okay. Just, tu just touching a programmer sock doubles your brain cell count. Interesting. Does it only work on Linux or is it, is it Windows compatible? <laughs> it, is it true? No one will take Mr. Edgeworth's case. Yeah. He's a bit of a celebrity. If you defended him and lost, your reputation would be sure to suffer. What's more, the case against him is, well, it's pretty solid. I suppose it would be if it had a witness. Hey, pal, don't tell me you're going to turn your back on him too. Remember the Steel Samurai case? Mr. Edgeworth helped you get your client declared innocent. I, I know. Anyway, I'm gonna look Avery's playing Yakuza? Nice. Tell him I said hi. I went to Edgeworth. I tried. He really doesn't want us to represent him. Especially not us, he said. What? Well, it doesn't make any sense, pal. You should have heard him talking about you after that trial. He kept saying, right, 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 over and over. Nick? I'm not sure that's a good sign. Neither am I. Why wouldn't he want your help? I don't get it. Who was this witness? Er, sorry pal, that's confidential. Anyway, the witness saw everything, apparently. Every says hi back? Thanks, Gumbo. I'm sure they'll turn up at the trial tomorrow. Was there only that one witness? Yep, it was pretty cold out in the lake last night. And it was Christmas Eve, after all. Still, we're being thorough. You never know when you're gonna turn up another witness. Oh, why does talking so much make me fucking yawn? Crab. Wow. Okay. Uh, that's why we're that's why we're here today, checking things out. So far, we're coming up empty. I, I, uh, I drank. Fuck. Have you ever had like an intense craving for something, even though you can't? The one thing I want, the really want, 
Hey, Final, I don't mean to get political here, but what's your favorite Zelda game? Wind Waker. Sixty five K embers, holy shit. Wind Waker has and always will be my favorite game. Ocarina of Time is probably my number two. And then I'd say Twilight Princess is maybe third or fourth or something. I haven't actually played that many Legend of Zeldas. Oh, no, no. Breath of the Wild is second. Ocarina of Time is third. What about the Joe game? What's the Joe game? Second is Twilight, third is One Waker. That's still, those are good choices. The uh, I had to put Twilight lower. Joe Mama. Ah, oh, shit. No, I, I know you. I was gonna fall for that. Um, I had to put Twilight much lower because the blue and like the blue and orange, especially in, like the Twilight uh, zones, uh, just kept giving me fucking migraines. Like it's a fun game and like the bosses are actually pretty decent, but like, just I, I just the color palette just really fucked with me. Thanks for diving into it, I appreciate it. No worries. Oh, it's Christmas today. I had forgotten. What are you getting me for Christmas, Nick? Talk to Santa. <laughs> oh, I have a problem with the pellet. That's, that's, that's like I said, that's the only issue I have. Or the, like, like the main issue. The other issue is how, how some of the people look. Like, especially the kids. The kids look fucking awful. Phenol hexagon hurts my eyes. Fire 64. When did I say hexagon? Oh, yesterday. What? Find something? Um, no, sir. Not yet. But there was a call from the precinct. They want to hold an investigation briefing. A briefing? Right, I'm off. Oh. Sorry, pal. I guess you heard. I gotta go. Any last things you want to talk to me about before I need to head back? The autopsy report. Well, yes. Do you have any information on the victim? Sorry. They haven't worked out the autopsy report yet. I'm still waiting for it myself. I'd fuck Kermit the Frog Pancake 21. Okay. Aren't kids awful IRL? At least, at least kids, like, aren't, aren't, like, grotesquely ugly, you know? Yeah, sure, I was a, there's, like, a lot of kids that are ugly nowadays, but none of, none of them are, like, uh, like, eldritch abominations kind of looking thing. Like, fucking Mallow, like, oh no, Mallow... Uh, bo both of Mallow's siblings, uh, that one girl who was, like, the love interest at the beginning of, uh, like, in, um, the Farron Woods. Oh. You've clearly never seen 10-year-old me. You've clearly never seen 10-year-old me. Actually, no one's ever seen me. Besides, only three, three other streamers have actually seen my IRL face. All the children of Ordon are, are god -awful. Exactly. That's that's exactly what I'm talking about. The only race I think that actually looks half decent in that game is the Gorons. Actually, say, if you get the time, drop by the precinct. We can talk more there, pal. You're not coming back, detective? Um, probably not, pal. So what should we do if we have something to talk about to you about? Alright. Here, I'll show you how to get to the precinct. Come down and see me anytime. Directions to the police station received from Detective Gumshoe. Nice. The Gorons are kind of mid. Yeah. Well, I like I like them. 
Oh, hey, Detective Gumshoe. What? We'd like to take a look around in the park. Can we walk around? Yeah, no problem, pal. You've got my permission. You know, Nick? I think there's something to be said for talking to people when they're busy. Yeah. They don't have time to think about not giving you information. Right, now let's get to investigating. Uh... Uh, Gord Lake Public Beach. Wowzers, this is Gord Lake? Yep. I'm not sure it warrants wo a Wowzers, though. Hey, Final, have you heard of uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 3? Uh, yes, I have. I've seen gameplay of it. And, I, and I've seen some pre if you're gonna, if you're gonna talk about the the Phoenix Wright thing, I've seen some pretty pretty interesting combos, like stuff stuff that makes people rage quick kind of shit. Mm, probably not. But hey, look at the snack stand. Samurai dogs? I want a samurai dog, please. I bet they're great. But the name like samurai dog, how could they not be? They're a little behind the times though. The kids are into, all into the pink princess now. I mean, like, you know? Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> they have a Phoenix Wright as a character and he's kind of broken. Exactly, that's what I meant. Is he shirtless? No. The trash can is empty. At least the place is well maintained. Wow, Gord Lake is really big. Yeah. Say, Nick, why is it called the Gord Lake? Oh. Well, a long time ago, they used to grow gourds here. Whoa, no way. I was sure it was because the uh, the lake looked like a gourd when viewed from above. You know, like an hourglass shape? Well, it is shaped like a gourd, actually, but that's just a coincidence. Oh. oh okay. A hot dog stand. It's closed. The Christmas fringe looks a little half-baked. The banner reads Samurai Dogs. Somebody needs to redecorate. Also, Phoenix Wright, Deadpool, and Beautiful Joe are the ultimate mean combo. You know, I, I love that that's a thing. <laughs> Almost didn't see that signpost. Left, boat docks, right, exit. Huh. Someone left some poppers here. You know, pull the string, and it goes, pop! Yeah, you know the ones. You see them a lot around New Year's. Hey, Nick. There might be a clue. Let's take them. Come on, admit it. You just want to pop them, right? Was it that obvious? Poppers? Hmm. Let's take them. May final may. Send a link in chat. Uh, what's the link first? I suppose it couldn't hurt. Huh? Where'd they go? Into my pocket. But you don't have pockets. A lineup of plastic benches. I guess the idea is you buy a dog and eat it here. I doubt anyone would sit, uh, sit here and eat on a day like this. Except maybe Maya, if she had a samurai dog. Fuck's sake, Gumbo. Could have at least asked first. It's just a Phoenix Wright combo link. It's nothing against US. Um, post it, post it in my Discord. I'll, 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 I'll watch it later. Can I bonk it for like five seconds? Nah, nah. I, I understand it's just a joke. Just leave, leave him with a warning. Let, let's, let's, let's see who do a warning. Oh, what's this? I don't have Discord. Can I just whisper to you? Sure. That works for me. Gord Lake Woods. I like it here, Nick. Look. Someone's camping. They've got camp uh, they got guts camping at the scene of a murder. Where where there's a sign that says no camping. 
Hey, pretty mama, let me whisper in your ear. Tell me all the things you want, all you want to hear, because it's true. It's what I like about you. Sorry. <laughs> I'm so, so sorry for that. Hey, hey, Nick. If they were camping here last night, they might know something about the murder. That's true. Good call, Maya. Let's go talk to them. You are not, but okay. This camera has a mic and some sort of attachment. It must take pictures when triggered by a noise. Wow, cool. Let's try it out. Cough. Hi, I'm Nick. Maybe I'm not saying it loud enough. Hey, I'm Nick. Huh. Nick! Will you stop that? Maybe it's broken? Don't kick it. Maybe it doesn't set to respond to voices. Well, what then? These things? The party poppers? Oh. That set it off. Fucking's back. <laughs> well, it, it responded. Yeah! Hey, you, get your hands off of that. Eek! <laughs> what in this Sam Hill? Was that supposed to be like a, a King of the Hill? No, it's not a King of the Hill reference. Look what you've done now. There goes a whole roll of film. Uh, what? Huh? S sorry. The story is nice, but I don't pay my bills. Y'all know how much a roll of that film costs? I, I'll pay you back. What were y'all thinking sitting off a party popper in a place like this? Uh, well... What? Don't try to play stupid with me just because you think I'm some country bumpkin. I like her. <laughs> suck, suck lady. I, I like her though. It's, she, I, I, I think she's kind of spunky. At least so far. Let's, let's, let's see if she turns into a rude bitch though. Yeah, I know how <laughs> y'all yanks think. <laughs> I fucking love the term yanks. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck does spunky mean? Like, energetic kind of thing. <laughs> I know how y'all yikes think. <laughs> I say with those southern folks with that exaggerated drawl, they must be dumb. Let me tell you, just because I might be, <laughs> just because I might be dumb, doesn't mean we all are. <laughs> I fucking like her. <laughs> oh my goodness. Nick, help! And who are you now? Her chaperone? Yeah, uh, no, rather, uh, we're sort of friends. Just figure what you're all gonna say. Is it gonna say and say it for Bejesus' sake? God, I'd rather sit through one of Papa's draws and listen to you stutter all day. Oh boy. <laughs> I guess we should pay for her film. Watch it. Yes, ma'am. On second thought, I'll pay later. I'm really sorry. Um, what? Can't you say I'm changing the film on my camera here? Someone, I'm not naming any names, but someone used up a whole roll. <laughs> Sorry. That didn't work. <clears throat> I wonder if I have anything to show her that would get her attention. Um, what? Can't you see I'm changing the film on my camera here? Oh, okay. Now flash your badge at her. I'm gonna flash her. Uh, this is my badge. Huh? Aren't badges to be all shiny and impressive? You were a cop or something? Um, I'm a lawyer. What? Y'all ain't gonna try to pull one of them lawsuits on me over that film now. <laughs> because I'll have you know I'm a fighter and I wrestle the meaner looking things in you. <laughs> oh boy. Maybe I'll polish it for you. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Mm. No, that's not it at all. We're here investigating a murder that took place here on the lake. A murder? Sounds cool. Why didn't y'all say that in the first place? Go ahead, ask me anything you like. Finally, some cooperation. You two, y'all can come out of hiding now. Uh, I won't bite hard. <laughs> I bet you haven't wrestled uglier things than me. <laughs> I, I, I fucking love her. Come to think of it, where did Maya get to? S sorry. I was feeling a little overwhelmed. The culture gap and all. Never you mind, honey. I can, I can, I can talk yank for you. <laughs> I can talk yank for you if um <laughs> if it pleases you. <laughs> Yanked on nerd. Uh, oh crap. So thanks. I think I'll be okay. Great then. I'm Lada. Lada hard. But y'all can call me Lada. I like her. I'm here for uh, photographing meteor showers for a research project. Mighty pleased to meet you. Getting yanked does not tickle my fancy. <laughs> Oh, uh, no, I wanna... Oh yeah, when was that murder anyway? I ain't seen much television lately. It happened late in the night on Christmas Eve. Give me a second. Sorry, I had to cough. The crab... I'm only slightly on edge, I promise. Okay. It uh, happened late in the night on Christmas Eve. That so? Christmas Eve. A man on a boat was shot. Did you see anything? Well, let me see. A boat, you say? I reckon I might have seen one. Not sure, though. Y'all gotta remember, I've been watching this here lake for a good three days now. I've seen enough boats to choke a mule. What? Choking a mule with a boat? Give us our fucking cough ASMR. <coughs> there you go. Thank you for the monster check. Oh. oh my god, fucking twist my back. Everybody do some posture check, by the way. Well, I saw this one dude on a boat, so I shot him. I don't know if that helps you. <laughs> I've seen enough boats to choke me. It's kind of hard to remember which I've I seen when. So what does he do, Lada? Huh? Me? Haha. <laughs> Y'all don't really want to know that, do you? Actually, I'm a research st uh, student at County U. Right in the heart of the heartland. The old back twist. Twist his dick. I fucking I I rewatched that meme today and I, I, I fucking laughed. Wow, neat. Nick, she's a research student at a university. Country you. Uh, so I hear. So when did you come up here? Um, let me see. I guess it was about three days ago. I guess you just said that. It's so fucking good, yeah. The other one I, I really laugh at is um. The, the one where the guy shoots the gun and the brother uh, the brother jumps out of the scene and goes, This is why mom doesn't fucking love you. Oh, that one's good. Let me see, I guess it was about three days ago. What are you uh, photographing? Didn't I tell you all that already? Meteors. Yep, meteor showers. Falling stars? That's quite a camera you have there. Y'all better know it. It's German-made. A genuine... Selingan. Isn't that where they make knives? Um, so what's that device you have stuck to the camera? 
Huh? Device? Your camera went off all by itself when I fired my party popper. Oh, that? That mic triggers the shutter whenever it detects certain sounds. Me trying to become a detective? Uh, the examiner. Do you have any prior experience? Yes. I've played every Phoenix Wright game and solved the mystery in Scooby-Doo episode I watched. <laughs> so, what... <laughs> what, what, do you, what do you want out of this job? Zoink, Scoob! I don't know! <laughs> it's programmed to pick up loud noises right now. The programmable camera. Neat. <laughs> You're hired! <laughs> Faces the lake. Okay. He's so annoying. Hey, I heard you were talking shit about me and you didn't think that I would hear it. I don't know where that's from, Rose. This camera is rigged to respond to noise, but it only responds to loud noises, like a party popper. There's food and some magazines on the sheet. Takes a pretty tough skin to camp in this cold. Hey, Nick? What? Don't tell me you're hungry again. No, no. I was just wondering. Why are camping pots and pants always made of aluminum? They didn't talk about that in any of the law books. <clears throat> Us talking about vines make me feel old. Yeah. I'm not explaining things from vine. Oh, it was a vine? I don't think I've seen that one. That was the one of the castle we saw packing all the illegal weapons into his white van. Huh. Not having this conversation. I think I missed his line there, but whatever. The sign says no camping. Funny place to pit uh to pick to pitch your tent. Wait, what if the sign said no no sitting tents on fire? I don't think they have signs like that. Oh. This SUV has seen better days. It's dented all over. I can't believe anyone would drive their car down here. The trees go quite thick here. Further back, the trees fade into the shadow where the sunlight can't reach them. I know arson in this specific area anywhere else is fine. <laughs> uh, as a side note, we don't convert uh, condone arsony here. <laughs> what if I... Lada? Yeah. So your camera, it triggers on loud explosion noises? Ah, uh, yep. Actually, the victim in the case we were researching, he was shot with a pistol. Pistol? Right. Now, wouldn't a gunshot make a similar noise to our party popper? I guess it would. Your camera. Didn't get a picture of the murder, did it? Hey! Y'all are pretty bright, huh? I see what you're saying. Tell you what, I'll have a look-see at my film. It would have, it would have been a photo taken late last night. I checked them once. Don't remember if there was anything on them, though. But what if I got some? I could be a witness to a genuine murder. Yeehaw. I'll go check that film. Come back now, you hear? Arson specific, especially around Donkachi. If Donkachi condones arsony, feel free. I don't condone it. <laughs> Yeehaw. <laughs> she went inside her SUV. I guess we should come back later. Everyone knows the important narrator voice is always right. 
What 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 is that anime that has like the really over the top narrator? It was like Love is War or something like that. I'm not well versed in too too many anime, but I I I I've heard that like the narrator in that one is like like extreme. Boat rental shop. He killed the dude she's hiding the body in her van. <laughs> How to get mod? Step one, talk to streamer. Step, step two, question mark. Step three, profit. I mean, I just did mod applications. That's that's what I did. And Spix here was one of the, the best candidates. If not the best candidate. I gotta go, I'll be back, maybe? Okay, take care, Pancake, and if you're not back, have a good night. Or day, depending on where you are. Nick, what is this place? A boat rental shop. Closed for Christmas, it seems. I guess a murder taking place on one of the boats won't be good for business, either. Boats. I've never ridden on a boat. Really? Well, how about we go out in one when the trial is finished? Hey, good idea. You bet. There's some boats floating on the dock. One of these boats was used in the murder, I wonder. Nick. I know what earned me my mod position was the hot cocoa and nothing else. <laughs> huh? I changed my mind. I don't really want to go for a boat ride. A small boat rental shop. Doesn't look like anyone is around. It's probably closed because it's Christmas. There's more forest off that way. I doubt I'd find any helpful clues in there. It eat the boat. Okay, guess there's nothing here. Oh, that's not what I wanted to. Oh, <laughs> did you do it, Edgeworth? This is really hard for me to ask, but you didn't do it, right? Right? Think what you will. I have only one request. Huh? Stay out of this case. Why? But Nick is trying to help you. I know. I know that. But I don't want your help, okay? Why not? Look, just go away and leave me alone. Nick? Mr. Edgeworth did it, didn't he? Maya, let's go investigate elsewhere. But Nick... <laughs> According to all known laws of aviation. <laughs> December 25th, police department. Oh, what the fuck is that thing? Off, off in the back on the window. What the hell? Oh, I'm gonna see that in my nightmares. Police Department of Criminal Affairs. Why am I getting a fucking headache all of a sudden? Give me a second, guys. I just rubbed my cat off her blanket and I feel bad, but my legs are cold. Just put the cat on your legs. That's what I do. I'd, I'd guess Detective Gumshoe was still in that meeting. Hey! Thanks for coming down, pal. Detective Gumshoe. We just finished the meeting, for better or for worse. I get the feeling we're in for some bad news. <laughs> piss. Better drink my own piss. I get the feeling we're in for some bad news. Do you know anything about the victim yet? No, no. I still can't ID him. Has Mr. Edgeworth said anything? Not a word. 
So how did the meeting go? I can't tell you, pal. You're a lawyer. T true. Okay, cat is on my lap now. What now? Uh, you lovingly pet it. Make sure it knows it's a good cat. You know, I don't know what to believe anymore. Sure, Mr. Edgeworth, human like you were me. Still, I get the feeling that if he'd done something wrong, he wouldn't go hiding it. That's just the kind of guy he is. Why can't anyone else see that? So they think that Mr. Edgeworth did it? Well, the trial's starting tomorrow as scheduled. I see. I'm back. Welcome back, Pancake. Hope everything went well. Um, hey, the, uh, you didn't tell, you did tell us about the meeting. Don't go tell anyone else, pal. Y yes, sir. And do me a favor. Stand by Mr. Edgeworth. He needs help and you're the ones to help him. I'm sure he's got some reason why he won't talk to us. Thanks, Detective Gumshoe. Yeah, I thought my GF was home, but it was just a false alarm. Ah. Hi, Pancakes GF. I, I know. I, oh, wait, she's not on the set. Fuck. I'm stupid. <laughs> Detective Gumshoe. How can you trust Mr. Edgeworth so much? Well, I think that was obvious. We got a strong working relationship, us two. We trust each other, and that's how it works. A working relationship? See, Mr. Edgeworth always gets his defendants declared guilty every time. Yeah, his methods might be a little extreme at times, but there's a reason. He trusts our investigation, see? He trusts us to get us the right he trusts us to get the right man. That's why I work extra hard, pal. We've got to earn that trust he places in us. Actually I was talking about my Twitch life and I told her that you you done VMO and turn up and she might tune in. Nice! Make sure to let us know so we can embarrass you. <laughs> oh boy, I'm sorry. But she's always welcome here. I I I promise you that. No, please. I mean, I I don't think I can embarrass you. I really have nothing to lord over you. But regardless, Don has so many stories about me. I I have I have in here. You have a blank slate. Mostly blank. Don Kachi could easily tell me, oh yeah, uh, Pancake ki kicked a kitten, and I, I would, of course I'd have to ban you for that, because we, we, we love cats around here, but... Uh, like, I, I, I if, you, if you bring her here, like, she's more than welcome here. I promise you that. So, what, 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 are, you, what are you gonna na uh, name her? The Fresh Waffle? As I was like a counterpart to the burnt pancake. <laughs> I heard kid. Okay. Sucks to suck. I see. Mistress, Mr. Edgeworth is a man you can trust. And you have my word on that. I was wondering, did you ever get that autopsy report? Oh, that? Yeah, I made a copy for you. I love how we... How uh, I love how he, uh, like, actually, actually is like, oh yeah, I made you a copy. <laughs> the raw waffle? I wouldn't say raw waffle. Uh, well, I guess. Uh, uh, it, it doesn't, it's, it's not right. Oh, sorry. One bullet to the heart. Nick? Huh? Can you show me that photo of the victim? That face. Someone you know? I... I don't know. I just have this feeling that I met him somewhere a long time ago. Her name will be the Sizzling Bacon. Do that. And get to call her hot. And then you, then you get brownie points. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> better than fucking raw waffle. <laughs> well, 
Why have you been why have you been saying crab a lot as of light fix? I'm just curious about that. Present the autopsy back at him. Well, I hope that helps you now. Thanks, detective. Time it is. 24th to 25th, cause one bullet to the heart. <laughs> Lobster. I am stupid. I just want to feel the white noise in my brain. First of all, you're not stupid. Secondly, I totally understand that. And crab does it? Okay. kind of curious about something. Hey, is that the police department's mascot? This is a blue badger. It was my idea. I made it. It's my mascot. I see. How nice. I'll get him assigned mascot of the criminal affairs department if it's the last thing I do. Uh, good luck. Edward does not look 24. Wait, it, that's what it said? Holy fuck. I'm older than Miles. That 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 makes me sad kinda. Time to make my PFP blue badger. Do you want to lose your mod privileges? <laughs> Alright That makes me kinda sad. In all honesty, but I'm all. No final, please. I will bribe you with what? Blue Badger looks like the Samsung girl. I don't see a correlation, but I can understand where you're coming from. What, what was her name? Sam, I think. Also, I'm dropping, I'm dropping frames for some reason. Let me let me reduce some of my. Final read of manga about middle schoolers beating the shit out of each other. How do you think I feel? <laughs> Frames go burr. Yeah, yeah, I know. I apologize. Oh, and I've... Oh, I completely lost my frame rate for a second there, and it's still fucked up. Why does it do this? Oh well, I'll let, you, I'll let you guys know when it's safe to refresh. Hey y'all! Lotta! Wait up a sec, we got bingo. Don't worry, final, I will always bleed with my shitty internet. Thanks, I, I guess. Bingo? My automatic camera took two pictures last night. Hey! This is them, take a look. Wait. See, see? He's shooting him with that pistol. It looks like that, yes. But you can't really tell who is that who that is shooting. No no, all my good frames when I stream are way worse. Okay. 
to fight corporate from mobile companies. Why do you need to fight mobile companies? I figured there was a enough fog out there last night I could, I could strangle a bullfrog. But you know, seeing these photos reminded me of something. What? I saw the murder happen. I'm a witness. What? Uh, are you serious? Of course. How do you forget? N never mind. Y'all reckon I should tell the cops? Hmm. Emotional support catch is wonderful. Yeah, that's one, one of the reasons why I love Elohim. He's not officially my emotional support cat, but he's always there for me. Okay, I got I gotta get a picture. My 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 cat is sleeping on his little tiny pillow. Okay, I took a picture. She killed him, I'm telling you. I, th I don't think so. She's too bubbly for that. Uh, hmm. uh Pancake, did you just... You just follow did you just follow me? Oh by the way, uh, feel free to refresh now. It should be it should be good. Tell him tell Elohim I love him wherever whenever you have the chance. Okay, but I gotta I, let me I, I gotta fucking oh, let's let's talk a little bit while I'm doing this. He's been a wonderful being and he has blessed us with existence. Yeah. I forget, Sphix. What is your cat's name? No, I unfollowed and followed again for the lulz. Oh, okay. That, that, that explains why I didn't go off. Because I, I got an email saying you did, but... to my private discord I appreciate I, I haven't tested that in a while I appreciate the test pancake Lucy you call her rat right I remember you I, I couldn't remember if you or gumbo said that you called her uh, called her rat uh, but you might want to refresh because she looks like a little rat who smells like potatoes. Why does she smell like potatoes? I love her very much, as one should. One should love their pets. I don't. I don't get why people like get like dogs and stuff that are like supposed to be attack animals. Oh fuck, I need to... My cat's name is Dunkachi Jr. I named my cat Lily. Lily is a nice name. that close that lower that lower that all right now
damage. Browse. There we go. Now, 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 I have, now I have a sleepy toasty loaf beside me. But yeah, he's... He, he's... L l look at how cute he is sleeping. He is the best cat. Actually, no, let's put him in the top left. Is that, a, is that an okay spot? Well, 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 we'll keep him there for now. I want nothing but the best for that cat. He is just, he's just sleeping his, his little sleepy cat ass away. And I'm, and I'm very happy he exists in my life. Actually, fun fact, and this might be on a quiz, Elohim's uh, previous name was Blitz. Elohim corner pug. <laughs> Sleepy cat ass deserves best cat ass pillow. Actually, funny enough, that used to my ex used to own that when we lived together. Like she brought she brought that from when uh, she lived at her parents, and so as she left, and she just left it behind, and I just took it. I died. Like she left it behind, and she abandoned it. I'm not gonna. Oh, Blitz these nuts. Fuck. Uh, so my my ex abandoned it. And I was like, you know what? I'll take it with me. I'll 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 use it to pad like my moving boxers or something. And like that that was when I moved into one of my old apartments. And then the apartment after that is when I got Elohim. And then Elohim just took to laying on that pillow because he loves it. <laughs> Final took the kids a uh, a pillow. Yeah. Well, my GF is home. I'll be back soon. Okay. Say hi to Sizzling Bacon. <laughs> tell the feral cat says hi. <laughs> uh, should I reckon I tell the cops? Uh, uh, no. I reckon no. What's that? Now, don't y'all think you can pull one over on me just because you speak the lingo? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I don't have to know that when you see a murder, you best tell the cops. It's my obligation as a citizen. Hey, so I'm off to talk to the cops. Y'all can have this photo. Later. Where did she say she took to? Wait, Lada? What? Can't y'all see I'm kind of busy? Tell us what you saw too, please. Nice try, honey, but I wasn't born yesterday. I'm a witness, and that means I'm on the side of justice, and that means the cops. Alright, I'm not gonna touch that. Oh, the feral chat! Oh, okay. I, 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 I misread that, sorry. Fuck my knee, ow. I hate when my injury works up. Let's turn it the south side of a northbound... The south side of a northbound skunk. It... <laughs> I'd soon rather eat skunk ass. Okay, Pancake is back. Welcome back, Pancake. She fucking bit me. Well, how hard did you bet her? Lotta. Don't let it get to your skeebies in a bunch. Friends today, enemies tomorrow. Was it the other way around? No matter. I'm gone. Hey, maybe they'll let me do some testifying. Hot darn. Bacon says hi. Nice. Is she watching too, or? She left. Well, that's one more witness. What do we do now? Nick. Well, if she saw something, there's not much we can do about it. The question is, what exactly did she see? I guess we'll find out in the trial tomorrow. <laughs> Lotto really went, I'd rather eat a skunk's ass. Yeah. Also, uh, you might want to, like, 
now she's just sitting on my bed watching with me. Okie doke. Um, I, I would also recommend you guys do a quick refresh if you haven't. I'm not sure if the delay... It looks like the delay is over. I just... Yeah. 1225. Okay. Twelve twenty five at twelve fifteen. Final, I will eat your knees. Oh, you can eat the bad one. The actually, no, I wouldn't want to do that now because it's thinking about it. You'd you'd probably vomit what I was about to tell you if you did, if you decided to say that. Anyways. I refreshed and I got an ad. How wonderful. I'm sorry. I don't know how to turn it off for uh, non-subs. Like, subs uh, don't don't get ads. And I, I I found that option, but I don't didn't see one for followers. Final, I have a strong stomach. It's It's going to be horrific. Content warning. I'll, I'll click off as uh, I'll click as soon as I'm done saying uh, what I'm about to say. That's going to be heavily, heavily disgusting. Three, two, one. Okay. You threaten to eat my knees, fix, but one of my knee has a cyst in it. I really don't want you eating that, but that's disgusting. Looks like it uh, looks like the police have given up their interviewing. Hey, Santa Claus! We could lob that off. Yeah, well, I wish. Ah, Nick, I think it's Santa. I think Santa's mad at you. Long time no see, Nick. I'm on the bad list. Nick, you know Santa? Wow, Nick and Saint Nick. Hey, I see the connection. Cleaning our meat is part of the journey. I I read that as something totally different. Don't be ridiculous. Dude, it's me. Oh, Larry Butts. <laughs> what are you doing here? Isn't it obvious? I'm working my day job. I sell samurai dogs. Want one? Gotta get money for dates, you know? My girl... Kiance deserves the best. <laughs> the one time it isn't innuendo. <laughs> Kiance, I hope I hope not another model or not another model. I hope Kiance is a fine, fine woman. Nick, it was already either that I wear this costume. She was all, you go, girlfriend. You know, she bought me this. this she bought this costume for me. That, that's great, Larry. Wow, a Santa costume. She must be really nice. Whoa, cute. Nick, who's she? She's not your... Not my what? No, she's not. I'm his partner, Maya Faye. I'm uh, the little sister. Sister? Wow, Nick must be tough. Working nine to five, having to take care of a little sister. <laughs> no, no, I'm not Nick's sister. I'm my older sister's little sister. Huh. Sounds great. Don't worry, Maya. He's not listening. What happened? <laughs> hey, Larry. There was a murder here last night. And since you work here, have you heard anything? Nick, you're wasting your time. Last night was Christmas Eve. It was with Kianse, obviously. He wouldn't have been standing out here in the cold. Oh, oh, that was a that that hurt him. I think what you just said caught him off guard, Maya. No, it's just Kianse is not in town right now. She she's in Hawaii on a photo shoot. A model, I knew it. Anyway. There was a murder on the lake. The trial's tomorrow. Huh. Neat. The defendant is Edgeworth. Miles Edgeworth. 
Um, Nick? Why would Larry know Edgeworth? Whoa, Nick. You don't mean that, Miles Edgeworth. Old Edgy? Half the time, I just want to pronounce his name Edgy. Also, I've seen enough, like, Katja and Madge and Sag. Uh, <laughs> I keep thinking, like, Edgy. <laughs> Edgy. <laughs> Yeah, he's a murder suspect. Whoa, murder? Huh? You know Mr. Edgeworth Larry? Yeah, of course. Edgy was in the same class as us in grade school. What? Um, um, tell me about the dogs. Huh? Oh, you mean the samurai dogs? Why are they samurai dogs? I, I mean, they kind of look like gourd-shaped. Well, originally they were gourd dogs, you know, like guard dogs. Ouch. The samurai thing was uh, Kianse's idea. Oh, she's my woman, you know. She was all, change the name and you go, girlfriend. She made me that manner. And the kids can't get enough of those samurai dogs. Um, something about that just seems wrong. Oh, and guess what? We're gonna get a ton of customers here at the lake. What with the big news? The big news? Yeah, Gordy. G Gordy? Made with real samurai meat. Yeah. Mmm, <laughs> I love me some man meat in my mouth. <laughs> uh, I'm so sorry. So Mr. Edgeworth was your classmate, Larry? Yeah, Nick, him and I used to hang out all the time. Wow, I never knew. Don't get me wrong, he's always been kind of a stick in the mud. Studying all the time, trying to be like father. Like his father? Yeah. Edgy's pop was a famous defense lawyer back in the day. Wow. Wait. You said defense lawyer? Yeah. Wait a second. But Mr. Edgeworth is a prosecuting attorney. What? Edgy's got a proboscis on his knee? What? No, he's a prosecuting attorney. That's like the total opposite of a defense lawyer. Huh. Go figure. He's always used to, used to talk about defending the weak who were unable to defend themselves. Man, he used to go on and on about man's duty to society and all of that. What a bore. I wonder what changed his mind, though. Do you know, Nick? Nick? Um, what's Gordy? Huh? You mean you don't know? It's here, this very lake. A giant mysterious monster. Gordy. Uh, monster? Yeah. Check it out, this is an article from yesterday's paper. Here, there's a photo. That <laughs> Gordy D's nuts. Or you, you, good ideas fix, poor execution. It's supposed to be Gordy's nuts. Wow, it's, it's really real. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Nick, a monster, a real monster. Um, yeah, it's it's probably just a log or something, right? Hey, there's a quote here from the person who took the photo. Hmm, what's this? I set the camera to automatic, and when we got in the frame, I heard a loud bang, like an explosion, followed by the sound of something slipping into the water. I have one brain cells. <laughs> A, a, a log. I took a dump in the lake. Now it's a famous. It's a famous monster. <laughs> Actually, funny enough, Canada has one as well. Uh, in it's 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 a joke, of course. But um, in British Columbia, off on the west coast, uh, there's a lake called Lake Ogopogo. 
And that's that's what uh, that's the name of the monster is Ogo Pogo. I, I don't I don't remember like what specific like like the story behind that was, but I, I just I just remember like visiting it a couple times. It's O G O P O G O. I don't know. Followed by the sound of something and something with water. I wish I could have seen it. Why would there be a sound like an explosion? Larry, can I borrow this article from you? Sure, no problem. That'll be one million dollars. One million? Grow up, Larry. Now we're gonna go to boat rental and see what's up. Nothing, okay. Alright, nothing here. Still nothing here. Veg comfy. Nice. How long have I been streaming? An hour and 33? I want to at least get done, done this day. Sorry. Now the gumshoe in sight. If you're looking for Detective Gumshoe, he's in the questioning room. Apparently an important witness turned up. He'll be there in there a while. A lot of heart, it has to be. Uh oh. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Mm, Bench comfy, yeah. Or I already read that. Fuck. I am as stupid as fuck. What is it? Oh, nothing. Just something's been bothering me. Could you show me that autopsy report once more? Hey, I remember now. This guy. He's a lawyer that was at the office Mia worked at. I met him once when I went there to hang out with Sis. Females say now. Yeah, yeah. When once when they get sis. That office? Wait. You mean Grossberger's office? Right, that guy. That was the last name I expected to come out. We should go talk to him. For old time's sake. I'm surprised he didn't get the picture back after uh after we took down bleached asshole guy. Ahem. Ah, that old familiar clearing of the throat. Aha, you're Mia's something, are you not? I was an understudy, yes. Phoenix Wright. Aha! And you're Mia's something too, are you not? Her little sister, yes. You've grown. You've come to look a lot like your sister, you know? Takes me back. Ah, the days of my youth. Like the scent of fresh lemon, you see. Uh, Mr. Grossberg, sir. Hmm? Ah, yes. I, I beg your pardon. Of course you came here to discuss something. What is it, then? Some of the matter. There was a murder last night. A murder? You haven't heard? I just got up, you see. Well, Miles Edgeworth shot someone with a pistol. Edgeworth? What? Who did he shoot? Well, the identity of the victim is still unknown. This is terrible news indeed. I guess he hadn't heard anything. 
I, saw, I'll st I love how the bleach ass joke still comes up. Well, yeah, I kind of had to because you're here. <laughs> Mr. Grossberg? Whatever happened to that painting? Oh, yes. I don't think it shall ever be coming home back to this office. I can't exactly claim it as stolen. I suppose it's my just desserts. Old, bitter desserts. Uh, autopsy report. Hmm, strange. I feel as though I've seen this man somewhere before. Ah! Did you remember? He was a lawyer here in my office. That's Hammond. Robert Hammond. Mr. Hammond? And you say this is the man Miles Edgeworth shot? It reeks of bleached poo. <laughs> okay. Who is this Hammond guy anyway? Almond. Robert Hammond. He was the defense attorney in that case. That case? Yes, the DL6 incident. DL6, why does that sound familiar? Perhaps you remember? I'm sure someone mentioned it during the trial for Mia's murder. That was the incident where the police had s were so at a loss they used a spear at me. Oh. Wait. You don't mean... Was that the medium my mother? Yes, my dear. The spirit medium, Misty Fay, your mother, contacted the spirit of the victim. But the case was a loss. No conviction was made. A DLC 6 incident, yes. Happened 15 years ago. A very strange case indeed. They never caught the criminal, right? I was gone for a while. Is Dunn Catch the steal here? Uh, he's lurking, I think. Uh, Dunn Catch here, are you still here? If you're still here, General wants to say something. Correct. Misty Faye used her powers to talk to the spirit of the uh, late medium, or the late victim. Her testimony led to, char led to charges being laid against one man. Anyways, you doing okay, General? Not gonna, I just want to call him Dunn Catch again. Well, I'm cl I'm clapping again with him on Thursday, if you, if you want to do that. <laughs> I was just looking for a while. No worries, no worries. Has your head any better? Her testimony led to charges being laid against one man. But Mr. Hammond won the case and the suspect was uh, declared innocent. And the police blamed my mother, calling her a fraud. You were the one who helped her out then, right, Mr. Grossberg? Er, yes. Yes, quite. Thank you. N no, please. Don't mention it. The L6. Never thought I'd hear that name again. No headache right now? Nice. I'm glad I at least cleared up a little bit for you. I think it, I think it's understandable though with all the pressure changes. That might have been a cause. But wait. Does that case have anything to do with Mr. Edgeworth? It has everything to do with Mr. Edgeworth, my dear. The victim of the DL6, DL6 incident was none other than his father. Gregory Edgeworth. Oh shit. What? His father? If you want to know more, you should ask him yourself. Show him this. I'm sure he'll talk to you. Wait, this is a photograph of my mother. I've also been coughing a bit, like once a day. Have you been drinking lots of water? Agua. Okay. If it gets worse, honey, honey, honey lemonade also works like a charm. It also gives you that vitamin C boost that you need. <sighs> Algo is the only thing I drink for the most part. Okay, okay. Hey, Gumbo, how's it going? Sh I I shall badge. All right, take care, Sphix. Hope you have a good night's sleep. J 
As soon as, as soon as I get as soon as I'm done this day, I'm done streaming. What's this? I was hoping you'd gotten my message the first time. Edgeworth, what about your defense? It's no concern of yours. Because he hasn't found anyone yet. Edgeworth? It's only been a matter of hours since he last visited. Yet you've made incredible progress in your investigation. I'll admit it, right? I'm impressed, right? You're always single-minded in your work, though. Once you start on something, you always see it through, don't you? Both the DLC 6 incidents. Right. DL6. Blondes. I've been having real trouble with that balloons boss. Like, I... I can't, like, as as soon as I get one phase down, it just shits out a bunch of uh, ceramic balloons and just fucks me up. I hate it. You can do it multiplayer? Yeah, but whenever I do, like, that's that's what, like, this, the ceramic balloons just fuck you up. Have you guys completed it at all? I don't want you to find out about it. That is why I refused your offer to defend me. I'm sorry if it sounded like I thought you weren't up to the job. I just wanted to keep you away from DL6. So, do you still think it would have been better for me to stay away? I don't know. But, I see no point in hiding anything from you now. Very well. Ask whatever you like, and I'll, and I'll answer to the best of my abilities. Never tried too hard? Okay. I am terrible at balloons? Okay. The DLC 6 inc or DL6 incident. That's when my father died. Right before my eyes. Oh shit. <coughs> so sorry about that. Make another account to stall or stall. Stall a troll. He was shot and killed, and I saw it all. My memories from that time are foggy. I suppose it's a self-defense mechanism. In any case, the suspect ar was arrested. A man. It's pretty clear he, uh, he was the only one who could have killed my father. The spirit medium they used to talk to my late father said the same thing. It was an attorney by the name of Robert Hammond that cleared the suspect's name. And Hammond is the victim in the Great Lake murder? Correct. Um, that spirit medium. That was my mom. What? You mean you're... It's strange. I thought that terrible incident was about to end, and now... This. Did you not make another account called Moist Dies Night One Only? Don't watch Nog enough to bother. Oh. <laughs> About to end. The DL6 incident happened 15 years ago. 15 years ago on December 28th. December 28th? The statute of limitations on the case runs out in three days. What? Um, Nick, what does that mean? When a case statute of limitations runs out, legally the case never happened. Three days from now, DL6 will be closed forever. What happened to the suspect? The one who got off incident, innocent? I don't know. He disappeared from public view. Nobody knows where to. If he's still alive, he'd be about 50 years old now. I guess I can understand why he'd go into hiding. It'd be hard to live a normal life after being <clears throat> a murder suspect in such a big case. Um, so was your father a lawyer? He was. Gregor Edgeworth. He was quite famous at the time, apparently. Also, is that a live ELO camp? No, it's just a picture of him. I took a picture of him sleeping. But he's there as a good luck charm today. Oh, 
he's not there right now. Did he move? I guess he moved. So you were sort of trying to follow in his footsteps. I'd rather not talk about it. <coughs> Can I, what if I present my badge now? Attorney's badge? I can't say I really want to see one of those right now. Okay. Hmm. Who would have thought there would be a photo? Edgeworth, did you shoot him? What do you think, right? I don't think you're the kind to point a gun at anyone now. So you didn't shoot him? No, I didn't. It wasn't me. Right? Pains me to ask you this now. I know. You want us to defend you. Yes, will you? No. <laughs> Sorry, Edgy. No way. <laughs> right. Nick? Hey, don't look so serious, guys. I was kidding. Oh, fuck's sake. Just a little joke. There was nothing little or joke-like about it. I thought it was fu I thought it was funny. Nick, do it over. Yes, Your Honor. How could I refuse you, Edgeworth? Thank you, right. This is my chance to finally pay you back. Pay him back? Pay me back? For what? I don't remember ever doing anything from you. For you? Never mind. I guess you uh, don't really need to know. Huh. My letter of request. Please give it to Detective Gumshoe. As there's a request button, fuck it. Well, I guess we should. What's that? Earthquake? That was scary. Huh? Where's Edgeworth? There. He's on the he's on the floor in the in a ball shivering. I guess he doesn't do well with earthquakes. Oh poor Edgeworth. I've heard of running, but curling up in a ball? Well I guess we're done. Mr. Edgeworth doesn't seem like he's gonna stand up anytime soon. Let's go, Nick. Ah, uh, right. We have to give Ed Edgeworth letters of request to Detective Gumshoe. What's going on here? Eek! What's wrong, Detective? This wild lady comes in here just a while ago. Says she came to talk to y'all after hearing what Mr. Wright had to say. What's this all about, pal? A lot of heart. Why are you going around finding more witnesses? You want to give Mr. Edgeworth a destined, pal? N no, not at all. Just... I mean, she did see something. There's nothing I can do about that. Can't go around covering up evidence. Are you trying to say something about the way I do my job? No, sir. Here, take this. Look what I got. Hey, you did it, pal. Glad I waited till the last minute to file those papers. I'll rip them up and start new ones for you. Thanks, detective. Well, I'll see you in court tomorrow, then. Good luck, pal. Hey! You guys feel that earthquake a little while back? I was worried. Worried? We're fine. I lived out my I've I've lived out my whole life. Lived out here my whole life. I'm pretty used to them by now. Oh, I wasn't worried about you two. I was worried about Mr. Edgeworth. Oh right. He did seem to overreact a little now that you mention it. Yeah, well I'm not surprised. It was a pretty big quake. I'm going to go check on him. You two go eat and get your rest for tomorrow's trial. Later. I wonder what it is with it, Mr. Edge with an earthquakes. I wonder. He was never that scared of them when, we, when he was in school. Then again, I only really got to know him in fourth grade. 
She transferred to another school after that. I wonder what happened to Edgeworth. All right, we're going to go into the day two trial. Um, let's go. Let's go find somebody to raid. I I had I had fun today, but I I'm a little bit zonked of energy. So, uh, let's see. We have Avery. Uh, cow cows for streaming. Okay, and moist. I gotta raid moist. You know you know you know the drill. Um, I hope everybody takes care, though. I, I, I enjoy this game, and I hope everybody enjoys kind of watching it and just watch, watching me make a, a dumb shit of myself, but whatever. Um, We have a community, and the community has a Discord. <coughs> Sorry, feel free to join, uh, but no, wor no worries if not. Um, And if you missed a VOD, I post... My vods to YouTube, like every week or so. I'll, I'll like I'll like do a mass dump. Um. Yeah. Uh. Hope everybody takes care. And the raid message will be. There. Uh, objection to the raid target. If you don't have those emotes, feel free to use whatever. Um, I hope everybody takes care. See ya.